I just came back from a date, hence the nice sweater. But I have a funny story to share today. So I arrive a bit early at this cafe and I'm waiting for her to come. We've already talked on the phone for a good hour last time. So she arrives and uh, she's wearing a mask and I was like, okay, she's, I guess she's just worried about COVID and stuff. I wonder if she'll keep it on for the whole date. She says, hey, and then I say, hey, so-and-so, and I give her a hug. I buy us some tea and then we sit down at the table. She said, what were you doing today? And I said, oh, I was on calls with YouTube creators since the morning. And she said, you're your YouTuber? And I said, yeah, I, I make videos. And I was thinking, wait, I already sent her my video, my videos. And she said she really liked it. And we talked about it for a while. And she said how she was a fan of my videos. But then she asking me now, like, oh, what kind of videos do you make? I was thinking, um, yeah, videos about books I'm reading and just trying to get 1% better every day. That's the series called. I'm thinking, wait, did I not? I mean, what's going on? Did she completely forget our conversation? And then she takes off her mask and I'm thinking, this girl really doesn't look like her photos, like looks like a completely different person. I'm thinking this is really weird. Is she a different person? I said, you're from Hong Kong, right? Because the girl I talked to on the phone came from Hong Kong just two years ago. And she says, well, my parents are from Hong Kong. And I thought, wait, your parents are from Hong Kong. And then she asked me, you're from Hong Kong, right? And I said, no, I'm Korean. And then she goes, wait. <laughs> And that's when it finally clicks in both of our brains. And then she looks at this other guy sitting at another table by himself. And she's like, oh my gosh, that's the guy I'm, I'm supposed to see. <laughs> and I was like, go, go. She said, oh my God, so sorry. So I said, go, go, go. And then she starts like, she was so embarrassed and like going up to the guy and say, hey, like, and she started explaining to the guy, I thought that guy was you. <laughs> And that's when my date comes and she just arrives right then. And then she's kind of confused. I, I'm just passing these people who are laughing and she's like, oh, do you know them? And I said, I'll tell you the story. So the drinks come out for me and the wrong girl, but I just give it to her anyways. And I say, just take it, it's okay. And so I had a date with the girl I was supposed to meet. I explained to her, <laughs> I explained to her how I was sitting with the wrong person and I was thinking it's really weird that she doesn't have an accent even though on the phone I heard an accent. So we had a good laugh about that and she said it would have been funny if I <laughs> sat with the other guy and you sat with her and so we were sitting with each other's dates and we had the whole date with the wrong people. I say yeah that would have been hilarious too but it was already hilarious just finding out right now. Oh man, so yeah, that was funny. I had a good laugh about that. When I was leaving the cafe, the couple that were just going on their first date, I was waving at them and saying goodbye and they smiled and waved at me. Oh God, funny stuff. That's like what you'd see in like a comedy movie or some comedy drama or something like that. Anyways, see you tomorrow. 1% better every day, baby. <laughs> hey there. <laughs> you filled the whole sink. <laughs> you funny cat. Mochi and Tigger came to my room in the morning. Mm -hmm. Mochi. Tigger. Good morning. <laughs>